Okay, we are in the basement here at uh, Stacy and it's Rob. You go by Rob? Yeah. Okay. Uh, right at the bottom of the stairs, right here, we've got a utility room. Um, we're looking to replace full system, do AC and furnace, which I'll walk in there. Um, just to give you a few specs, we've got an 8 by 24 return, which we're going to need to make this a 10 by 26. My thought is to move it over here into this area. That way, when we drop it down, there's still a little bit of space to get by this pipe. But we're going to convert everything over. Um, or I shouldn't say convert everything over, but changing it from it's 110,000 BTUs. We're going to come back in with an 80,000 BTU two-stage, 80%. Just tying into the existing flue right here. Got your water heater on the other side. Uh, customer does want to do the electronic um filter so if we drop everything down from right here we'll have plenty of space to be able to get that in here furnace this current furnace is 34 inches tall it's a b-width we'll come back in with another b-width 34 inches tall so just put it on the base we'll do b-width coil <clears throat> uh this plenum here is 13 and three quarter inches wide Got your drain right here. Freon line set. Uh, it's on the back side, back side of the coil, but it wraps around here and it exits through a finished part of the basement. However, the uh, compressor right now is sitting just right outside. In fact, is that hole open? Uh, not quite. But the compressor is sitting right outside here. So my thought is to pull the line sex. It's not big enough to drill right through here, right through the vinyl siding and connect in. So it's less than less than 10 foot. Uh, we do want to put a humidifier on the system. We want to put an air scrubber. We want to put a UV light. And then like I mentioned, that electronic air filter. We're gonna do the Vision Pro 8000 and uh, an EIM board. I'm thinking probably humidifier, putting the humidifier on the back here. Might give us a little more space. Really, that's up to you. And then we do not have any returns in the basement. So we're wanting to put a return right here in the middle of the room. Put a return here, which we can just do like a 6x12 six by, six by or whatever size we need there. We could do a flex duct. right in between those studs do a flex duck tie it into uh, the side of the new 10 10 by 26 right there and then the other return uh, this return right here which is running through uh, their main bedroom has no return so we'd like to put one uh, preferably not over the bed but just right here to the side which it's about seven inches. So if we do a six inch, again, six by 12, six by 14, six by 10, really any of those, we've got enough space to put it right there. But that'll help with the circulation. And then the breaker's a double 40 in that back corner, which I think we need to convert that to a double 30. I'll have that in the paperwork. Uh, it's not a walkout. Um, we'll need to bring tarps to cover cover all the carpet as we work.